Chris, as the cyber leader in Belgium, why do you think cyber is so important today? Everything is digital today. There's a lot of data out there. Analytics becomes much more important. And therefore, as a result of that, cyber is an uh, inherent part of that development and, and requires a lot of attention as well. Yeah. But the new environment with, uh, with digital analytics and cyber also creates a lot of opportunities for, for people, young people that create startups that want to serve in that new environment and create their own businesses. But on the other hand, there is also a lot of opportunities for business that are trying to actually do things differently, more efficiently, more effectively, or create new relationships with other stakeholders such as customers or suppliers and so on. So mm -hmm. the world is really moving very fast and the adoption of the technology is increasing very, very fast. And for who exactly is cyber so important? Cybersecurity is important for everyone in our society because and particularly for individuals because we're all an integral part of the digital environment in which we live. For instance, I can remember the days when I could switch off the internet with a modem with a strange noise. Yeah. Uh, that we can't say anymore because we're constantly connected. We have, most of the individuals have a device. A large part have multiple devices, yeah. such as health devices, sports devices, smartphones, smart TVs, everything is smart and connected. So we give away a lot of information and we don't know yet today that information, how that will be used uh, in the future, because we don't have that history of five to ten years. So we should be aware and think about how the collective information of our newly born child put on the internet, how that will be used in five, ten years from now. Yeah. And we should remember that not all the people that are out there in the digital environment, in the internet, have the right intentions. And how about businesses? Cyber is equally important for businesses. They are adopting these fast changing technologies as fast as the individuals. And they are trying to do the things differently and more efficiently uh, than they used to do. To interact in a different way with customers, suppliers or their stakeholders in general. And as they are doing that, they actually are facing some cyber threats. And they need to ensure that they are protecting the data, the infrastructure, their brand and potentially people. Like for instance on the brand. Uh, their Twitter account could be hacked and someone else could actually tweet messages on their behalf or data, they have their own data, customer data, it could be intellectual property, could be strategic information, could be financial information. They have the obligation to protect and secure that information for themselves but also on behalf of their customers and, and, and third parties. Infrastructure, they have to ensure that they are not subject to DDoS attacks that are bringing down the servers or services uh, of that particular organization. And sometimes people are at risk because in the industrial control systems that are managing industrial processes, they are also subject to particular cyber attacks. So sometimes people could be in danger. So all in all, organizations have a large responsibility on cybersecurity. They need to manage that in a strategic way. It needs to be discussed at the board and executive level, identify what are the critical threats that they need to be prepared for, what are the key assets they need to protect, and also to ensure that they have the right cyber capabilities in place. That's what they need to do. And how about the government? The government has a very important role uh, internationally, but also in Belgium. So internationally, you have obviously the EU, CERT-EU, who is actually having a very active role in, in Europe. Uh, on the military side, you have NATO, who is having strong capabilities actually also to help us on the military side in the cyber warfare. But on the Belgian side, we also need to ensure that we have the right roles and responsibilities. We have the Belgian CERT. Uh, we have uh, a cybersecurity strategy in Belgium and we need to ensure that we have clear roles and responsibilities for all the stakeholders that are involved and that they have the right resources available to actually do the job and to execute on the Belgian cybersecurity strategy. And how can we protect ourselves? As individual, you can obviously have complex passwords, uh, use different passwords for different websites, uh, you are alert to phishing attacks so that you don't click on f phishing yes. mails, uh, very important. As businesses, obviously awareness b is still very important because we're all uh, uh, working with people and people are potentially vulnerable to phishing mails and other type of attacks. There are a number of technical 
uh, things that uh, organizations and businesses can do but moreover I think it is a business issue cyber so you need to understand cyber and look at it from a strategic point of view where the risks are where the threats are so that I think is very important and as a government you can actually also do different things you can actually prevent mm -hmm. uh, uh, cyber attacks by gaining intelligence uh, also monitoring certain traffic uh, you can share intelligence with other uh, stakeholders, could be other nations, could be businesses, could be critical infrastructure and make sure that within a, within a nation, within a government, you have the right roles and responsibilities and they have sufficient resources available to do the job. Okay, thank you Chris for your insights. Thank you very much.